processing in communication systems routing now routing is the process that which relates to transmitting devices sending packets of data to a specific receiver through the best possible route or pathway a message may need to be sent through many intermediate nodes in order to reach its destination so the actual transmitter that's connected to a source is not likely going to send directly to the receiver of the destination it's got to follow a pathway of many intermediate nodes in order to reach the destination and that's what routing does it finds the best possible pathway and sends sends the message down that line, okay? So these intermediate nodes may be switches, routers, or gateway devices, which forward a data packet, which is a term known as packet forwarding, onto a path to the specific receiver based on its IP address. The path the data will be sent is based on the data stored in a routing table, which maintains records of pathways to specific network destinations. Routing tables may be established through a specific network protocol or set up by a network administrator. So what we're going to do now is try to illustrate this, okay? And this is how routing may be logically shown. So we have the source, and as you can see, it's a computer here, and we have the destination, which is also a computer. Connected to the source, we have a wireless router, Okay, and that's its transmitter, and the destination is connected to a switch, which is its receiver. So how am I going to get this message from the source to the destination? So here is our network, and these are all the intermediate nodes that sit on our network. And there are multiple pathways the message can go through in order to get to the receiver of the destination. And basically, what we have to do is decipher which is the boss best possible pathway to take in order to get this message from the transmitter of the source to the receiver of the destination. So factors that might determine the best route include the actual network protocol being used. Okay, does it clash or cross over into any networks where it might need a gateway device to go through or is that not possible and has to stick to specific pathways? The network hardware being used. As you can see, wireless routers can send a wireless signal and obviously need to be received by another wireless router, which then is hardwired to a switch if that is going to take place. So that all impacts on the pathway the actual message can go as well. Okay, if it's sending wirelessly, the device that receives it needs a wireless receiver. The transmission mediums connecting the actual nodes together also impacts. Are we going fully wireless or is there wired uh, optic fiber at some point and then does it go through a device and then suddenly become twisted pair? Okay, and that will affect the speed if we do change the types of cables we're using. So that impacts on how quickly the actual message will get to the receiver as well. And then finally is network traffic. Are certain lines used more so than other lines? Is there certain off-peak times when certain lines are quicker than going other ways as well? So there are these all factors that we need to consider and obviously the network admi administrator we need to think of when constructing their routing table when moving uh, messages between sources and receivers. Okay, so logically we would find one best pathway and that best pathway would be mapped onto that routing table okay, and recorded for it to take. So I hope this has given you an understanding of the process of routing and what's essentially taking place. It's mapping out the best pathway for a message to travel through on a network when it has to go through a variety of intermediate nodes when being transmitted to a receiver of a destination device.